babies. It's that time again. Oh yeah. So dark in the morning. Ow. Gonna turn this down for you. Yeah, it's uh not too cold though. Yeah, babies. The 400,000 mile vehicle is blessed by Jesus, getting me to my destination every day, which is a 100, 100 mile commute. Oh yeah, baby. We are in Luke 14, I believe it is. And we're just going to look at the, <clears throat> the beginning of the um, chapter. And it's when I... <laughs> I love these lines of Jesus. Uh, he says to the uh, religious elite gathered there, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Exactly, he gets no response. I absolutely love that. I love it when he shuts them up. Oh my gosh, that's the best. <laughs> wow. In fact, I look at my own life and I... I see how... I am made from that same cloth as Jesus. I love to shut people up. Oh yeah, baby. I just love it. I love it when it's something they pride themselves on, but when confronted with their contradiction, they don't even attempt. to double down on their, what they usually always pound. I just, I just think that's marvelous. That's just, that's God. You know, Jesus says, he only does what he sees the Father doing. And so the Father is confronting us with our contradictions. Oh yeah. And so Jesus heals someone in their midst and then gives an example if one of your animals is in distress on the Sabbath you're not going to wait 24 hours to release them so And this story, you know, recurs in other Gospels. Because it's the very essence of why Jesus came into the earth.
because we study the scriptures and we think we understand them and we have life in them. And Jesus' witness is a challenge to that thinking and that way of life. So, Jesus being the same yesterday, today, and forever. How is it in your life that you are experiencing Him? As the one who is leading you to have a proper perspective in understanding the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Because from what I can see, there's a lot more security people are creating for themselves. Their perceived security in interpretation of the Bible in ways that the community they associate with supports and there's much less evidence of people understanding the danger of having such a secure safe view of the Bible so that all the parameters are neatly placed so that people feel secure and justified in living their lives in the way that they do. When the Spirit of God is more interested in the condition of our heart and how passionately we are aligned with obeying the Spirit of God, which often is at odds with our community's understanding of the Bible. Oh yeah, baby. So people often will say, well, yeah, follow the Spirit, but make sure it lines up with the Word of God. That's useless. <laughs> That's a useless uh, guideline because everyone's view of the Word of God is different. So just telling somebody, yeah, just make sure it lines up with the Word of God. That's not helpful. It's helpful if you understand the Word of God is living and life-producing and giving evidence of its presence and God's will in our lives, if we have the evidence of our lives being transformed by what it is we believe, then we can build on that foundation and know that that is the Word of God and the Spirit of God will never contradict that because it is the very essence of the Word of God as opposed to some understandings of the Bible that are just 
wrong and we'll just say uh, outdated. Oh yeah, baby. 